What the hell is up guys? We're out here. We're gonna hop onto the FZ here and fly like Mach 10 over to my freaking sister's house real quick. Oh yeah. Always sound good. Feel a little bad for my neighbors because I've been riding this to work, starting it up nice and early right in the morning for everyone to hear. But anyway guys, let's have a little bit of a moto talk while we freaking do wheelies and haul ass all over the place because I don't know why, I just catch myself thinking all the time like there's so many bikes to choose from out there, you know? It's really hard for me to like, like just want like specific ones. Like I literally just want to try them all. I feel like they all have such great purposes and uh, reasons to buy. If you're new to the channel or haven't watched any of the videos, I have an FC09, a KLX 300 Supermoto, a Grom, and then I have a KLX 450 dirt bike, which I think I'm actually gonna sell here soon. Go check out the other videos, man. We do wheelies, jumps, bunch of fun stuff. We're always just hooning around town, you know what I mean? I've kind of just been riding this thing because I need a new exhaust for the Grom. The KLX 300 is pissing fork oil. I need to get those rebuilt. And uh, I really want to get a stiffer spring and they don't make any like exact fit stiffer springs for that bike yet so i i don't really know what i'm gonna have to do i think i'm just gonna buy a stiffer spring that's the same uh diameter or whatever and just have to cut it the plans are to rebuild those forks probably get a stiffer spring for the back and uh get it tuned and just see how well like you know a built up klx 300 really performs that's the plan with that bike this bike for now i think is here to stay for like the next year more than likely or so but i've been having a lot of thoughts because i've been seeing like a lot of you know the ktm 690s and the husqvarna 701s popping up all over the place and they've always really interested me a lot because like, like you, you just can do everything on a man and they have they have good power you could cruise highway because that's pretty much why i bought the, the 300 was because i wanted to go into the mountains uh you know do wheelies do all the stuff that i do which that bike does do very well actually but it would be nice to have something with a little more power and uh you know more suspension travel at the time i just could not afford to spend like fourteen thousand dollars or whatever it is so we went with the 300 which is about uh i think after everything it was like 7500 bucks it's like 6300 but then all your dealer fees and shit about 7500 bucks and like i've always wanted a ktm 500 that's like my freaking dream bike right there literally but again it's, it's just really hard for me to want to spend like twelve thousand dollars on a bike that i'm gonna you know probably probably wreck somehow you know lay over a loop whatever i do same with the 690 or 701 but i guess you know you just got to come to terms with things like that depending on finances and what happens like in my life and with this channel and whatnot the ktm 500 would probably be the supermoto i would get if i could have like that a street bike and then my grom that's and a dirt bike that's all i would really need <laughs> brake like almost was getting some brake fade on that wheelie that was a little sketchy not gonna lie This is the bomb. 
That's a fast one, bro. Let's try to race it. This is why I jump around between all of these bikes is because they all have so many different uses. You know what I mean? Like the 300, it's very light, nimble. It's super good for like wheelies and in-town stuff. It's super, super fun, which is why I really like it. It's, you know, super reliable. And I do like the feeling of just being able to like pin it constantly. But like you're not going that fast. It's a super fun like sensation and a way to ride like like on the Grom. Like you can't do that on a 500 or a 701. You know, you're going to pin it and then you're going to have to just chill. I'm sure all of you other riders are the same damn way, dude. There's so many options out there. How do you even decide? I, I seriously, I don't think I could ride the same motorcycle for more than like like a year or two if I had the funds. Anyways guys, I just got done at my sister's. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be the end of the video. You know, just talking about some random bike stuff. But uh, like and subscribe if you want to see what route we end up going. And uh, check out the other videos. You know, we have some good Supermoto videos, good freaking FZ09 videos, good Grom videos. So go give them all a watch.